Filipino. The whole world is looking at Filipinos right now as they're about to elect a late dictator's son to be the president of the Philippines. In other countries, this is what you'll see. And from outsiders watching it unfold, this is what you'll hear. The son of a guy who terrorized the Philippines for years is now the front runner to take over. Bongbong bon Marcos has shown virtually no remorse for what his father put the country through. So why is it that this man is leading a presidential race by a landslide? Yes, over 30 million Filipinos voted for him, at least according to the partial and official tally. Is it because Filipinos see something in him that a big part of the world doesn't? Night Farm. This is a special video that will spotlight, not my opinion, but the voice of Filipinos for the Filipinos. And if you're watching this election unfold from a different part of the world, stick around because you might get your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what they said when we asked, what are your hopes and fears for the next president of the Philippines? One thing is definite, as it's often in the politics, there is a strong contrast in opinions. One side is already bracing for really dark times. It's a really dark time for the Philippines right now. I fear that disappearance, torture, politically detained, death and other unlawful acts against our freedom and human rights might happen again. While the other is celebrating a bright future ahead. And as 30 plus millions of Filipino people voted for him, I don't think we have the reasons to be afraid of because yes, majority of us believed in him. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. There is no reason to be fear because our new elected president is chosen by the majority. And I hope that new administration will help all of Filipinos in all of needs and put some good plans in health, education, economy and infrastructure. It's almost like they're living in different realities, holding different sets of facts. How could I trust a leader who uses disinformation networks to promote himself, fake news, and trolls? How could I support a leader who never liked attending debates? Never like being criticized. There are no fears, as it is the beginning of new era, a new place for Filipino to arise from frustration and hope. And maybe that is why Marcus Jr.'s call for unity during his campaign has resonated with a lot of people who are simply tired with the so-called toxic division. I fear that the relationships, friendships, that's been broken by the elections. Having, we all have our differences. We all ha have our own principles and beliefs. But then the critics also ask, what is the point of unity under a family name that has stolen so much from the country? My biggest fear for this election is to have a president that is stained with corruption and built by disinformation. I am genuinely scared to put back into position what the people back then ousted. To which Marcus supporters usually counter with two things. It is time to forgive what his family did and that he cannot be judged through his father's sins. Night fam. I realize that it doesn't look good when me, a foreigner, comments on other countries' affairs. We all know, because it's politics, there are many more complicated issues that this video has not even touched yet. Rampant fake news, disinformation, some reports of election irregularities, to name a few. But if you ask me, how I feel for the country that has become such a big part of my mission. Here is what I know to be true. I know that Filipinos deserve so much from their government. I know that the poor and the underrepresented demand a public servant who truly cares about their needs in jobs, health, 
and education. And I know that every voter only wants best for their nation. And as I know all of this, I must tell you something that is very sad, disappointing and difficult. I have been contacted by many people from the Philippines and I can see how many are so afraid to even voice their opinions. That is why we have blurred the faces of the people who speak in this video. Because the hate is so strong, because the division is so strong, because the trolls are so strong. Some people are even worried for their lives simply for expressing their opinions. I have said it before and I'll say it again. The Philippines is a beautiful nation that deserves all the blessings of this world. That is why only recently our Project Not For organization helped raise funds after the typhoon that hit the Filipinos. Over 20,000 affected people received help from it. In that moment, in these big numbers, we saw a beautiful unity and we hope that this type of unity will prevail no matter what. So that when the next elections happen, no one is scared for their lives in expressing their opinions about the future of their country.